hell and welcome back everyone. Yes, it's me, it's Nero. And we're back with Spyro 2. Rip those rage or gateway to glimmer, depending from where you're from. Yeah guys, I'm back home and I have a lot of free time, a lot more free time now. So let's just get back into the action. Last time we did this underwater level, if I remember correctly. Um, yeah, Aquaria Towers. We finished it 100%. This actually means. Wait. That would mean we are able to defeat the boss, but wasn't there a flight level in this? Did I do that? Hold on, hold on a second. No flight level? Wait, I almost can't believe that. Let me check this first. There is something right here around the corner, isn't there? Yeah, Ocean Speedway. Why doesn't that show up in the guidebook? Anyways, let's do that first. So we finish up the world before we get to crush the boss of this world. I don't really remember much of the flight levels in Spyro 2. I don't know if they are harder as in Spyro 1, but you've seen that playthrough, I guess at least, and so you know that I really don't like the flight levels. Okay, we can... Uh oh, we can sprint at the floor. Yeah, that was probably quite stupid to run a, to run after that one. But we did that. So that leaves us with two more things. There are the arches. Okay, time is already ticking. I guess we're not gonna do it in the first attempt. But that is actually quite expected. But this is not looking bad. This is really not looking too bad. Okay, one more. Here. Now where are the arches? Oh, we're not gonna do that in time. I don't even know where the other arches are. Well, for the first attempt, that was really good. And I think we're gonna do this pretty quick. This doesn't seem as difficult as the flight that was in Spyro 1. But let's not, let's not get cocky here. Come on! See? I always do the stupid things. Okay. Let's go for the arches then. You can always do those car drivers quite fast. Uh oh, there's another arch. Where now? Right side? Yeah, right side was the right side. Um, time is ticking already. Oh no, 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 no. Okay, you can get a lot of time back at the boats here. But will that be, be enough? Might be, actually. If we get in time to those... No, we won't, or will we? Come on! Yes, there we go. Okay. Uh oh. No, Spyro! Whew! Okay. Another good attempt. 
This is not getting frustrating because it seems like we're gonna do this level rather soon. Let's go for the cars again. This controlling is quite sensitive. That's why you can always fall down. Okay, we need one more car. Let's not chase that. That will that would mean a lot uh, that we'll lose a lot of time. Time is looking good so far. Come on. Um, one more. No, don't fall into the water. Spyro. Go oh my god, come on. What is going on? Was he invincible? God damn it. No, we're not gonna do that now. But I think there's something in here. A little secret. But we're gonna do that later. But I remembered that. Because in the flight levels in Spyro 2, there are also uh, orbs you can obtain. I don't know if it is one per level, per flight level, but they are always a little bit hidden, which is quite cool, I think, that you have to look for these. I always like to search for, uh, yeah, little secrets. Okay, time is looking good. Time is really looking good. Let's get the arches. Then the boats. Oh my god. Well. Did I say we do this rather quick? Well. It's still not that long. We got a good route, a uh, good route, I think. This order of uh, objects we're doing seems okay. Okay, let's get the boats. Those boats are not that difficult, but the the really tricky thing is that you have to be quite close to the water. So where's the last boat? Come on! There it is. Don't play the invincible one. Alright, let's get the arches. We got 20 seconds on the clock. That should be good. That should be it. Those arches are the most time expensive things. But we're gonna do it. Let's not screw this up. There we go. Alright. So we got that. Now let's get to the secret. Which is right here. In this. View, uh, viewers area. Let's just clear the area. I know that's a little bit bad, but I want you to see what's a thing here. Okay, let's let let's let those three watch the boat race or whatever that is, and let me now show you the secret. I guess now you think you're pretty good. Well, let's see if you're as good as the current champion. Start the race. All right, Spyro. Meet the course champion. In order to win the race, you must fly through all the rings. Beware if Hunter flies through a ring first. The ring will start to shrink. Difficulty 4 out of 5. And I think those challenges in the flight levels are quite tough. Okay, let's see. Yeah, he does this sharp, these sharp turns. It's quite 
tricky. See? So if you have done this race a few times, you get the road, uh, the route he's going. But in the first attempt, then it's quite difficult to follow him. And I also think that ah uh, no 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 come on Spyro stand up for fuck's sake yeah Spyro did a little it's not as easy as you thought is it are you ready to try stupid again? thing all right but uh, what I was wanting to say is I think you can mm. obtain two orbs in this is there another challenge I thought I remember something like that. Why are you even doing this race with me, Hunter? You should help me to get orbs, not do things like this. Oh no! Uh. God damn it. It's not as easy as you thought. Yeah, 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 shut up. All right. Let me just do that. Okay, now you do a sharp right turn. And another one right here. See? You, s you get the hang of it. Quite quick. Uh, where do you go now? Through there? Okay. Oh, up! No, no, not up. Yeah, we got it. Um, there you are. Oh no, not this. Oh, oh, oh. God damn it, there's still so much left. I can't see you, Hunter. Okay, four more rings. Okay, where's the last one? There it is. Got it. Great job, Spyro. That was some excellent flying. Sure, what did you expect? I mean, I'm Spyro after all. Okay, there's only one orb in this. So, that means we are ready for Crush. Let's do this, guys. Let's do this. Well done, Spyro. Yeah, 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 yeah. We heard you. Okay. We heard that already, so let's do this now. Crush Dungeon. Crush Dungeon. I don't remember that to be difficult. Before you get to the castle dungeon, Spyro, I thought that you might want to know how Ripto and his monsters arrived in Avalar. You see, last week in the Winter Tundra, the professor was working on some new super portal technology. There. That's the last orb in place. Now let's see. All we need are some coordinates. Yeah, how about 22475? <laughs> That's my birthday. Hunter, don't! What? Get off! Get off me, you useless buffoons! Why can't either of you? Where are we? No dragons. Wonderful. Crush, go back and pack my bags. We're moving in. Say hello to your new king. Professor, shut it down. Hurry. Oh my, oh my. I can't see the switch. I think I've broken my glasses. Crush, go through the portal, you idiot. 
to all your friends to take the orbs and scatter them throughout Avalar, quickly! No! Go! Crush! Get the orbs now! No! You despicable little creature! I'll kill you! This is bad news for Avalar. Hunter, why didn't you chase him? Uh, yeah, I, uh, would have gone after him. But didn't he say something about not liking dragons? Professor, could we catch a dragon to help us? Yes, yes, I think so. We'll need a world that has an alignment much better suited to intercepting one of these creatures. How about Glimmer? Good idea. We better go right now. Yeah, Crush doesn't seem like the most intelligent species in this world. Alright. Let's do this. Okay. I remember it. I remember this. Oh yeah, I need to kill you some. Oh my! What the hell? Spyro's fire breath really does not have a, a long reach. A long reach. Where are those rocks coming from anyway? Now that's a little more difficult. Because you can't get too close to him when he shoots those things. See, he runs away. It's a difficult thing. There we go. It was close, but we got him. Okay, that would have been too easy. Uh, I remember that there is... Uh, when it comes to the end of this fight, he does not only shoot fire, but also does the other thing. So you have to jump and avoid being hit by the fire. There we go. Does it do that now? Mm, no, I don't think so. Come on, leave me alone. Go away. Okay, we need to hit him two more times. Okay, he goes a long way, but that we didn't get him. But now we are gonna get him. See? Alright, last one. I believe at least. Should be. After the loss of logic. Now nah, we got him. Bye bye, crush. Oh yeah. We got oh, I already forgot how it's called. We got that extra life for not losing a life by defeating no, him. Crush! You may have been able to defeat that simpleton, but Gulp will be more than a match for you. Bring it on, Shorty! Gulp, come here now! Destroy him and make sure it's painful! What? The roof? Go! Get me out of here! 
Autumn Plains, the second world of Spyro 2. <laughs> that Ripto has caused enough damage. All his meddling has cost me a fortune. If it wasn't for Spyro, I'd be bankrupt. If Ripto were here, I'd give him a piece of my mind. In fact, I'd give him a lot more than that. I was a champion bantamweight boxer at university, and I still know a few moves. Take that! And that! Boo! Ah! Why you? You! And <laughs> 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 yeah, that was a cool sequence. Let's see if there will be another short movie. No. Alright, so I can end this episode now. Um, Ripto really isn't a intimidating boss, in my opinion at least. Because when I think back of Nasty Nook, he was really intimidating when I played it as a kid. Maybe it has to do something with the fact that I was a little older when I played Spyro 2. I don't know. Uh, how much time was between those two games? Was it a year? I don't know, but still now, uh, Ripto really is not an intimidating character. But after all, this is a game that uh, had, had a target group of little kids or... Uh, I don't know uh, what's it called. God damn it. Adolescents? Yeah, I think so. Um, yeah, that was the target group of this game. And that's probably why they got a little... Little character. Little short dude. That really doesn't scare someone. Nasty Nook was cooler. Let's leave it like that. At least in my opinion. I don't know what you guys think. You could let me know in the comments. So, I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. Subscribe if you want to follow my channel and my videos. And I say goodbye. I hope I see you the next.